Hi everybody. Um, okay, I was asked to take this photograph that Ballroom Picks was nice enough to uh, make available to us to see what we can come up with. And I did post one up on Flickr and I had a couple people ask me to do a short video as to how I ended up with the result that I did. Uh, so, we're going to get going here. The first thing that I did was the same thing that Ballroom Picks did. Is I'm just clicking in the Quick Fix Levels and Curves and I'm going to try to take that fog away uh, and everybody kind of uh, understands this pretty much. We're not going to get too fancy here. I just want to make sure that uh, we do a decent job and we'll just do that for now. Okay, so now pretty much the fog is lifted. The next thing I'm going to do is make this water uh, blue. So up at the very top here I'm going to pick a control point, color control point and I'm going to click that and I'm going to just pop it anywhere on the water for now and I'm going to grab this little handle and I'm going to drag it to the right and expand it outward. Now if you look on to the right side of the screen you will see the color picker. Now this could be any color here on the water. What you want to do is click on that and now what we're going to do is we're going to select blue and we'll just use that one for now okay now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm on a Mac by the way so as you can tell by the screen I'm gonna hold my option key down and you would hold your Windows equivalent I'm gonna hold the option key down I'm gonna grab this little control point and what I'm gonna do now is just start making a couple of copies of this color control point what I want to do is basically turn the water into the, pretty much the same color and all the way through so now we have the water all blue now if you notice all of the bottom is also in a blue hue as well well by taking another color control point and just start clicking on your screen you're going to notice that these colors the original color of the photograph come back now you can expand this out by dragging it and so forth and a quicker way to do that again I'm on a Mac I'm going to hold the option key down and I'm just going to start throwing all kinds of control points just basically copying them and putting them in different areas until I can bring most of the color back from uh, on the parts that are not the water okay and we're going to take another one we'll put it here if you can see what happens when I drop that color control point only the colors that I'm dropping it onto basically become affected and there we go okay so then the next thing I did was I took a color control point and I did stick it onto the roof here and what I did was I did pick go to the color picker and I just picked something a little more red for the roof and you can see that as you move it you can take that color and make it anything you want and then click OK Again, I'm going to copy this control point. I'm holding my option key down. I'm going to bring it over to here. And I'm also going to hold my option key down, bring it over here. And that is pretty much uh, the picture that you saw. Okay, the, the only other thing that you may want to do at this point is adjust your contrast and all this other stuff and saturation. But for the most part, this is it. One more thing I do want to do, which I forgot was I want to turn these white caps white again. So I clicked on one, hold the option key down, now I'm going to just start clicking on the white caps and making these white again. And there we go. One more here. Again, real quick and dirty. There you have it. We'll get rid of those uh, control points. There's the final picture. And actually we did crop it. So let's just do a crop here real quick. And this is pretty much the final product that you saw. Okay. Thanks, everybody, and hope you uh, enjoyed it. Appreciate it.